I call out some of my fellow YouTubers and I used the phrase bunghole and I don't know how to feel about it. This is the Sox Rocker Show. Now I have to ask you, is it true what they say, you know, that James Gunn is wanting to turn DC into Marvel 2.0? Well, it's certainly beginning to look that way, some are thinking. Recently, Giant Freaking Robot reported that the entire VFX crew behind the Guardians of the Galaxy series has jumped ship from the MCU and is now working on Superman Legacy for Little Jimmy. My, what a tangled studio web we sometimes weave. Apparently, there were accusations that the VFX crew were, well, being treated pretty badly over at the Mouse House. Long hours, being underpaid, etc., etc., and so, ta-da, they now work for Gunn. Now, we already know that Idris Elba, Gunn's own brother, Sean, Frank Guerrillo, hell, even Gunn's wife, has had roles, be they minor or major, in both the MCU and the DCU. And now we are seeing that Gamora herself, Zoe Saldana, told ComicBook.com just a few days ago, that she would be up for starring in a role in Gunn's new DCU. She even went so far as to say that she would be ever so grateful should she get one. Now, if that ain't puckering up to Gunn's old pie hole, well, I don't know what is. No offense to Miss Saldana, mind you. She's a damn fine actress, and it was great as Gamora, but it just came off as kind of weird to me. The timing of it all, I mean. Could it be that she already has a role in Gunn's DCU and she's simply being coy when asked about it? Not to mention that Gunn ever so quickly replied to her comments when asked about them, saying, of course, of course, I love Zoe. And lest we all forget, it wasn't all that long ago when Dave Beatista posted a pic of himself sitting all preppy in little Jimmy's personal parking spot over at DC. And it's no secret that he would love to play Bane. And so I say, let the migration begin. Hell, Bradley Cooper could be the wise-cracking voice of Crypto the Superdog. Vin Diesel, well, he could be the voice of Bizarro and walk around the entire time simply saying, I am Bizarro. I think Chris Pratt would make a damn fine, egotistically sarcastic Hal Jordan, a.k.a. Green Lantern. Zoe, well, she could be Catwoman, maybe. Batwoman, perhaps? Or maybe Gunn could throw us a wild twist and make her a female brainiac. I mean, I'm sure she still has plenty of green makeup left over from her old MCU days. Now, I will say this much. Her comments about joining Gunn's DCU, well, kind of took me by surprise, kind of, sort of. Considering that just back in 22, well, she stated that she felt artistically stuck from doing 10 years of franchise movies. You see, Zoe was not only Gamora for several years over at MCU, but she was also Uhura in the last three Star Trek films and Princess Neatiri in both of the Avatar films to boot. Well, I guess one has a change of heart after they're convinced to do a T-Mobile commercial in a giant white oversized coat that's three sizes too big for them. And while I'm on the subject of one Jimmy Gunn, well, he's been a busy little bee over on social media these past few days. When he was asked in a recent thread about if he had the storyboards of Superman Legacy finished, he said he's had them done for a long, long time, that he has thousands of them. Thousands of them. When he was asked when it would start filming, he said it would begin this March. So, my friends, it seems this movie just might get off the ground soon after all. When he was asked on another thread if the rumors were true that the Batman 2 was canceled, he said no and rolled his eyes. He confirmed that Legacy is going to be filmed in IMAX, which I personally think is just weird if that's the only thing he's going to film it in. He also reconfirmed that the film will not be in an origin story. He even posted a rather awkward looking pic of himself with his arm around Maria Gabriella, who will play the villain engineer in Superman Legacy. And so, it looks like little Jimmy Gunn is firing on all cylinders these days. He has all of his little DC ducks in a row, 
and is moving full force ahead creating the JGU. Uh, sorry, my bad, the DCU. Now, does it sound like I'm a bit leery? Yes, I will admit it, but I'm willing to see what he delivers because, as I have said here so many times, at the end of the day, I am a true blue, avid DC fan, and I just want good DC product. Now, I'm going to touch on something else briefly here. The world word toxic is being passed around on social media quite frequently these days in regards to Snyder Bros and Gun Bros and the ongoing battle as to just who is the rightful heir to the DC throne. If you watch my show at all, you know how I feel about it, and it is what it is. If you spend any time on social media at all, then you should already know that at times it's the Wild West. And instead of bullets, people sling words around. And if you're not prepared to get back what you put out now and then, well, maybe you shouldn't be involved in it at all. I see far more popular YouTubers than myself getting all butt hurt when someone makes a crass remark or contradicts them over what they are posting. If you're posting facts and nothing but the facts and leaving it at that, then maybe, maybe, maybe I can understand it. But dude, if you're voicing an opinion and you're trying to tell someone that what they are doing is wrong, what they are thinking is wrong, and how you think it should be done because you can do it better, <laughs> you need to expect it. And if you choose to engage, and by engage I mean trade insults and spitting out derogatory remarks back and forth, then you pretty much bring it on yourself. If you're going to put it all out there here on YouTube or on X or both, then what the hell do you expect to happen? Look, I may not like Gun's work, I think the dude is a narcissistic, egotistical control freak. And I may question whether or not he should be running things over at DC, but I in no way think that I can do what he does any better or otherwise. Hell, I couldn't do it at all. Dude has been making successful films for quite some time, and for any of us on the Tube or X to think that we can best him at his own game then you need to put the crack pipe down. Now, in retrospect, that doesn't mean one should flip-flop, become a bandwagon jumper, start sucking the proverbial bunghole, and turn on those that have been supporting them for God knows how long either. It just means if you're going to get involved in it, then deal with it and get over it or get the hell out of it. Now, of course... These are simply my opinions, not facts so flamey, if you will. And I promise I won't get all butt hurt and threaten to block you. And so, my friends, we're at the part where I say, hey, why don't you tell me how you feel? What do you think about all those that are migrating from the MCU over to the DCU? Is it a good thing or a bad thing? Do you think Gunn is just trying to dirt DC into a Marvel clone? And finally, how do you feel about the way certain people react on social media when they get called out, insulted, harassed, trolled, if you will? Specifically, the ones that are getting paid. How should they react? I would like to know how you feel about what I've talked about today. So, if you would, please feel free to leave your comments down below. And while you're at it, why don't you subscribe and hit that like button so you don't miss my next rant and ramble. As always, thanks for stopping by. God bless. Socks out.